You guys aren't going to believe what we're about to do. It's going to be exciting. That was so much fun. It was. Area 15. Who knew? And it's air conditioned, so when it's 120 degrees outside like it is right now, right now, that's a perfect place to go. Yeah, there were all kinds of things in there to do. There's a long line for some mega mart store <laughs> Yeah, if you want to buy shit, you can go in there. Did you just say buy shit? <laughs> Oops, I did. If Should you, I bleep that? <laughs> yes. Somebody has a potty mouth. If you would, if you, I don't know what they have to offer, but uh, there were there was a restaurant called The Beast. We ordered food from there and it had was it in delicious. The dueling axes. Yep. Uh, they delivered it to us. I mean, it was it was a great way to spend a couple of hours. Yeah. If you want to do something off the strip, check this place out next time you're in Vegas. Yeah. Area 15. Thumbs up. Welcome to Fremont Street. Yep. We're gonna do that back there. Let's drive to Vegas. You're on Mercedes. Just want to rain this. Take this freeway until it ends. I know I'm crazy, but so are you. Let's drive to Vegas, baby, right now. Let's drive to Vegas. The Mod Museum opened in 2012, but the building that we are standing in is much older. It was originally constructed in 1933 as the Federal Courthouse and Post Office here in downtown Las Vegas. In the 1950s, it was the site of one of the U.S. Senate Keefauber Committee hearings to investigate organized crime, and that actually took place right here in this courtroom where we are standing. Our experience really begins on the top floor, so you go up in our elevators, up to the third floor, and you learn about the birth of the mob. And then you head down to the second floor, which is where our courtroom is located. The majority of our second floor exhibits are all about Las Vegas. On our first floor, it's more about modern organized crime, including our interactive hands-on crime lab experience and our firearm training simulator where you can step in the shoes of our law enforcement agents. And then in our basement, probably our most fun area is a fully operational speakeasy. Splificated. No. <laughs> that was the password. Ring the bell again. Splificated. Splificated? What do you say? Possible. <laughs> it is a full prohibition themed exhibit called the underground and there we house our distillery where our 60 gallon copper pot still makes moonshine right here on site uh, and then you can drink some of that moonshine as well as many other top shelf liquors in our speakeasy complete with the whole experience there's peepholes and passwords and all of that this is a very non-traditional Las Vegas thing to do, but it is very cool. Yeah, there is so much interesting history, and I'm not a history guy, as you all know, <laughs> but this stuff here would captivate me, would hold my attention. I mean, it's the Museum of Organized Crime and Law Enforcement. Could it get any more non-Las Vegas? <laughs> no. Not only that, I mean, we just showed you a little blip of what you yeah. can see and do in here. There's also a police simulator, so you could go in and you can uh, do basically a video game shooting criminals and hopefully not the good guys. And then there's also a crime lab where you can play CSI. Well, you're not just shooting criminals indiscriminately. Well, I mean, you try to shoot the criminal <laughs> well, you shoot... and not the civilian just innocently standing there. Yeah, okay. 
you know what she's saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Come on. <laughs> I think the speakeasy was really, really cool yeah. to, to see, you know, what they were experiencing back in the 20s. You can come and do tastings and learn, you know, there's so much you can do here other than just the casinos in Vegas. Yeah, the strip. This is off yeah. the beaten path for sure. We interrupt this video to bring you some important updates. That's right. We are dying to know who's going to Balloon Fiesta because we're going to be there. Yep. And we are so excited and we hope we get to see you. And there's going to be a ton of stuff that we are planning to do there with you. That's right. We are so excited. We're going to have giveaways and a silent auction to benefit Homes for Our Troops. And don't you worry, if you can't make it to the Balloon Fiesta, we're going to have some live giveaways for you guys at home as well. More importantly, you'll get to meet us in person if you're there. Well, importantly, if you meet me, I don't know about Phil so much. I'm the talker. Remember that, <laughs> So what we're trying to say is make sure you stay tuned. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, and Our Village because we will be doing daily updates while we're at the Bloom Fiesta from there. So you guys will know what we're up to, where you can find us, and what we're going to be doing that day. Yeah, this is the day or this is the event that you do want to find us and you want to come up to us and, you know, introduce yourself, yada, 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 because... We're going to give you something when you meet up with us. That's right. Okay, so don't be shy. Don't say, oh, I saw you and I didn't. No, Balloon Fest, we're telling you right now. Hunt us down. <laughs> yeah, we are out <laughs> in the wild. Don't tackle me, but hunt us down. We are out in the wild. Um, so find us. Extra, extra kudos um, if you're wearing Ooh. some of our stuff. That's right. If you're wearing any of our swag, you get bonus points. And what is bonus points? Well, you're just going to have to stay tuned for more details next week. I don't even know what they are, so it'll really be new. All right, back to Vegas. I understand that you're going to, four of you are going to do We're all going to give it a shot. scuba diving. Okay. Have you ever done it before? No, no. Yeah, and are you snorkel and dive, something like that. Yeah. I've never turned a scuba. Okay. So um, I'm a TDI, SDI instructor, and I teach everything from very beginners to all the way to rebreathers. What you'll be doing is called a discover scuba and what you get to do is I get to take down two of you um, at a time and we are going to stay 20 feet and above right it's just to show you what can be accomplished mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's very safe. If you follow, if you make sure you follow your bubbles up, you'll never go fast enough to hurt yourself. Ah, okay. Good rule of thumb. Follow your bubbles. Follow your bubbles. That could be a, that could be a whole separate channel. <laughs> follow your bubbles. The intro is going to yeah. be awesome to let us know if we want to do more. Yes. You know, because I've always it's been so interested, yeah, but I've know. kind of been afraid of it. So this yeah. is a good like without having to commit. It's going to be hot, guys. Yeah. This is going to be hot, and it's going to be the worst thing about scuba diving is putting this on. Well, zipper we goes in the back. Okay. Okay. And you can um, you can squeeze it on. I'm going to show you what that So we're just going to have our, our bathing suit. I mean, yeah. bathing suit, our swim trunks or whatever. Bathing right. Suit. I'll just try this on over skivvies though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I. Do you want me to film that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah come on in. <laughs> For the other version. <laughs> yeah, it's for the other channel. Yeah. For, for follow your bubbles. <laughs> Sitting okay. I'm a little offended by the triple XL sizing, but I'm the same size, so I hope you're not going commando because I got to try that. <laughs> nice. That's a good fit and suit. Turn around. It no, let's, let's do a it twirl. Hold on, hold on. It, it was, was, and I'm sweating. Yeah. So. Hi. Hello. There we go. No, just kidding. Oh, I feel like I'm. Like it's come trying to Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, sorry. No, no, you're good. You've got to gain an extra roll. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Um, your scuba gear will we'll hold it down. I want to go any shorter and I want to go any little bit. Okay. Once again, we're getting on a boat, but it's not a houseboat. But it's it's bigger than the last one, so True. we're making progress. We are. When do we get to the houseboat portion of this it's, trip? It's we're also making progress in temperature. It's much hotter. Kirk. Kirk. Yeah. Kirk. Nice to meet you. Phil. I nice hope you're warned that we have Kirk. cameras. 
Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sarah. <laughs> I it's see nice that. Nice to meet you. Yeah, too. Um, so I guess that's what you do when it's 115 out. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta cool the handle off so you can use the buggy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I had to, uh, I had to put gloves on just to climb my own ladder yesterday to get on the roof to work on the AC. Jeez. That's hot. Yeah. We are crazy. I got a big suck. beat, so it probably will. If it sucks your face, you're good. Breathe in through your nose. You're golden. <laughs> all right. Nobody needs to see all that, though. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Edit that. Breathe in. Don't no, shake your head. It's going to stay. Okay, right. Look at you. Woohoo! Counting every second till the sun goes down. Heartbeats buzz into the neon sign. So free, be anywhere but you're here with me. Let's go. These BCs that you guys will be diving right here, they're halcyon. They're a little bit more on the technical side of things versus the recreational. They're really nice because they're one size fits all. They're all adjustable. You can pull these straps out and make them longer right here. And this is Bill, so I'm gonna mess his all up. Just no. put your Captain Bill here. But anyways, they're all adjustable to go shorter, longer. They do have crotch straps on all of these, so you'll have, when you put it on, you'll have that crotch strap come up, and you'll put it, put it through the buckle, like this, and all that does is just cams over like that, and you're locked in with that crotch strap, of course, so it in there. You're going to almost have no air in this bag anymore. And the weight that we will put in here is what's going to make that initial descent under the water. As you're going down, the pressure uh, starts growing, right? And so this airspace will shrink even more. So what little bit of air there was in there is getting smaller and smaller. And now you're dropping a little quicker and quicker. So you're going to compensate that with a little air. This here is your power inflator for your BC. When you just with this on this will be on when we're diving right sorry this puts air into this wing okay and when would when would we need to do that uh, on your descent as okay. you start dropping down you're just gonna because we do controlled descents and okay. we don't want to just drop so you're just gonna do real controlled as that you'll start feeling it that airspace is getting smaller and you're dropping faster, you're going to fill it back up. So just up. give it a little each time you feel yourself speeding up. Yeah, I mean, really, it's, it's as much as... Gotcha. Oh, there we go. Oh, you got to get it through, I see. Nice and snug. Yeah, we'll okay. The more air you put in your BCD, mm -hmm. the snugger it's going to get. Okay. Oh, because it's going to pop up. You look fabulous. Man, Woo! you look fabulous. Movie yeah. style, uh, movie style. Turn your hair on. <laughs> Wish that would work for the gut. Can you do that again? Anywhere we go, make it feel like home. They say we the kids of the go like oh. Oh. If these moments like a perfect way, don't let the tide wash away these diamond days. No. Oh, we got to go back down. <laughs> I like it a lot. I like it a lot. There's water in the mask. All you have to do is do this. Okay. Look up and breathe out through your nose. Just give it another shot. Through your nose. Breathe out. There you go. Ready? Come on, come on,
And, and I was pushing the wrong one. I was like, ah. Woohoo! I'm celebrating. Right here. Right here. This is my bucket list. All right. So, oh I God. actually love it. Although my ears feel a little clogged right now, I didn't have any. I didn't feel any ear pain while I was down below. I could I could regulate. Um, I did have a problem with buoyancy, and <laughs> believe it or not, <laughs> these love handles don't float. They lied. Um, <laughs> but I I enjoyed it. So what this means is. This is just kind of a teaser bucket list check of ours. So I think we need to sign up for a class. Yeah, we may have to. Oh, may have to. It's happening. Bill, are we trainable? You're trainable. <laughs> Good. Okay. That was fun. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. And only we only went 20 feet, um, but it was still. It felt like I was down hundreds of feet. I know that sounds weird, but... Well, it does. Plus, we said his visibility wasn't that great. Yeah. So, and we didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> so, so that, you know, that makes it a little a little weird, but, um, oh my gosh, it was way more fun than I expected. Yeah. Now you're all water Tons of fun. And Phil, who was nervous about it, did better than all of it. <laughs> I, I really liked it. I wish I could have stayed that long. This is the Thank you so much. Bye guys. Have a good night. After just over three weeks, we are finally heading out of the heat. Yeah, not not soon enough. I was ready to go a week ago. This heat is no joke. Yeah, record breaking. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, feel breaking. <laughs> uh, I don't do 115 plus for days on end. I just it drains me. It kills me. So thankfully we're going somewhere much cooler and of yeah. course word to the wise if you come to Vegas July is not the optimal month. No. <laughs> take it from us. Trust us. Uh, I don't care if you get free flights, free hotels, you name it. It's just too hot this yeah. time of the year. It's crazy. So we are really excited to get some to get out of this parking lot, to get some greenery, get some grass, be able to sit outside, maybe have a cocktail with friends. It's going to be awesome. Hopefully. But it wasn't all that bad. We did accomplish a lot. Yes. We got a lot of work done. We ex we um, found a new hobby. Yeah, Yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, so we were able to do and see a lot, um, even though it was hot out. We were, you know, we waited till it was at least shaded outside before <laughs> we came out. Uh, we Ubered most places. We went yeah. in to, you know, hop from AC to AC. But yeah, all in all, this was this was a good fast-paced trip and I'm, I'm looking for a little slower pace yeah there is a lot to do here in Las Vegas and not just on the strip no. um, we are kind of bummed that we miss out on some of it like hiking Red Rock and there are some other places we wanted to explore but with the heat there's just no way 120 degrees I'm hiking anywhere no so we're just about ready to go we're leaving the AC on to the last minute yep. I'm about to go trip the pedestal um, so we can fire it up When's the last time we dropped 